What's up guys, in today's Tech Gear Talk, we're gonna take a look at the Corsair K68 RGB mechanical keyboard. Corsair just released this RGB variant of the very popular red LED K68, and I'm gonna tell you why I think it's an excellent keyboard for both gaming and for those of us who just spend countless hours working on our computer. I'm a super heavy computer user, so I probably spend 10 to 12 hours a day at my workstation. So using top of the line accessories is always something that I look for so that I can improve productivity and then like overall ergonomics and workflow. My goal with every product review is to give you an overview of the features of the product, but in a way that really relates to real life so that it can help you make a buying decision. If you find that this video was helpful, please let me know by giving it a like, leaving a comment, and then hitting the subscribe and notification buttons for more tech reviews. I also wanna take this time to thank Corsair for sending me this keyboard to review. All right, so let's start out by looking at some features of this keyboard and then we'll go ahead and go into them in some more detail. The Corsair K68 RGB mechanical gaming keyboard uses Cherry MX Red key switches that are super responsive. It also offers 100% anti-ghosting with full key rollover to make sure that each simultaneous keystroke is registered accurately, and I'll talk more about this a little bit later. It's dust and spill resistant with an IP32 rating and has practically unlimited backlight color combinations. It also has dedicated volume and multimedia controls that offer on-the-fly adjustments. And then finally, it's fully programmable with Corsair Utility Engine, or Q. All right, so let's start looking at the Corsair K68 RGB in a little more detail. I wanna start out by talking about the build quality. So like the red LED version, the K68 RGB is super well built. Its durable hard plastic chassis is super solid, and the keyboard itself has substantial weight from the internal reinforcements. Overall, the keyboard is very rigid and has really, really nice build quality. Corsair used 100% gold contact Cherry MX key switches that have been super responsive and accurate for me. The Cherry MX red key switches are rated for over 50 million key presses, so you're probably gonna be good for a while. If you're not familiar, the Cherry MX reds are linear keyboard switches. So they don't have tactile or audible feedback to let you know that you're past the actuation point, which is at 1.5 millimeters. So when you're using the keyboard, you either end up bottoming out or you just learn with practice where the actuation point once you get used to it. I really like the way that they feel. They've worked great for me when I'm programming or designing or editing videos. Now a super important feature for me is that the K68 is water and dust resistant with a rating of IP32. So this doesn't mean that you could submerge it in water or dump gallons of water on it, but it will protect your keyboard from accidental spills that could happen on your workstation. Full disclosure, I've been known to spill some things on my workstation, and while I know the K68 is not fully waterproof, I really appreciate this extra level of protection for like such an important part of my workstation. Corsair implemented this protection by adding a translucent silicone sheet above the printed circuit board or PCB. So the way it works is if you splash water down on it, it will deflect down the rubber and then out through some internal channels and drain holes. All right, so let's move on to the function of the K68 RGB model. Beyond the long-term reliability of the Cherry MX Reds, you're also getting 100% anti-ghosting and full key rollover. If you're already familiar with gaming or higher-end mechanical keyboards, you know exactly what that means. But just in case you're not familiar, let me explain it. Anti-ghosting and key rollover both have to do with what happens to a keyboard when multiple keys are pressed simultaneously. Now this can happen when you're gaming or when you're typing really fast or if you're just working really fast within certain programs. Some keyboards have a limit of two keys, some keyboards have a limit of six keys, and keyboards like the K68 have full key rollover or NKRO. So all the keys can be pressed and then correctly registered simultaneously. And that doesn't include modifier keys like shift and control. Ghosting refers to what happens when you exceed the concurrent key press limit for your keyboard. So for example, if your keyboard is rated a two KRO or two key rollover, and you press three keys down at the same time, what can happen is that the keyboard will actually register that you clicked a completely different key altogether. So not even one of the three that you clicked. And of course, you don't want that in any environment, whether you're playing a game or working. Anti-ghosting, like what we have here on the K68, prevents that from ever happening. So what's important for you to take away from this is that the combination of anti-ghosting and NKRO means that every key press that you make, no matter how fast it is, is gonna be registered correctly. 
Going back to the Cherry MX Reds, they're pretty quiet, so they're not as clicky as some key switches are. This is also a function of the silicone cover that we have on the keyboard to protect it for water because it helps dampen that sound. Now, some people like the clickiness, some people don't. It's not something that ever bothers me in a keyboard. I'm just gonna say that they've been really nice for me to use, and I definitely feel a positive difference over the keyboard that I was using before. Now on the right, above the number pad, you'll find dedicated media buttons. So you have a stop, previous, play, pause, and next buttons. And above that row of button, you'll see a mute button as well as volume up and down buttons. And what's super nice about that is that you have immediate access to those functions. Now I end up using this all the time because when I'm working, I always have something playing in the background. And then when I get a phone call, I need to mute it immediately. So now I can just mute the video immediately and then pause it later and I don't have to fumble by reaching for the speaker to turn it down or using some combination of keys or figuring out how to do it with the mouse. I can just, boom, hit mute, it's done, and I'm ready to pick up the phone. Now there's also a dedicated key for controlling the brightness of the keyboard. So you can use it to alternate between three levels of brightness and then an off state. And finally, there's a key that lets you lock the Windows key. And this is super important for gamers because you don't wanna accidentally hit that and then dump yourself out into the desktop while you're in the middle of the game. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the look and feel of the K68 RGB. Now, I know some people might not care what their keyboard looks like, but I love when my tech also looks cool. The K68 RGB is super sleek looking. It has a matte black finish, just like the red LED version, and it gives it a really nice and elegant look and feel. Now the space bar is texture and it gives it a very unique look. And it's something that felt a little foreign in the beginning because I've never used a keyboard with a texture space bar before, but now that I'm used to it, I really like it. And the K68 uses fairly large typeface on their keycaps and it definitely looks different than other keyboards that I've used. But I like how much of the LED light passes through this wide font. Which brings me to the colors, which is something that I love about this keyboard. The RGB model of the K68 offers per key RGB backlighting, which means that you could technically program each key to be a different color. Now, some people are gonna love this level of customizations and others are gonna be super happy with the preloaded effects. Now, using the Corsair Q software, you'll have access to the entire RGB spectrum of over 16 million colors. So you can choose from any hue combination you can think of. And again, if you don't feel like messing around with this, you can just select from the 11 included patterns, which include things like Spiral Rainbow, Rainbow Wave, Visor, and a bunch of other ones. And with each preset, you can actually select the speed and the direction of the movement, so it's super cool. Now, I'm not someone who's gonna spend hours creating and customizing my own lighting effects. I'm more than happy with the provided effects, but one of the things that I really like about the Corsair ecosystem is that if you go to their website, you can find tons of profiles that other people have created and uploaded. And then you can just download one that you like and use it. A Corsair also included a detachable palm rest to add comfort and support. And my desk can actually move up and down, so I always make sure that the keyboard is at the optimal height. But I like the additional support that this clip-on wrist rest offers. It's plastic, so it doesn't actually add padding per se, but if your keyboard is positioned at the appropriate height, there shouldn't be a lot of pressures on your wrist to begin with, and it's extremely comfortable for prolonged use. And finally, there are these little feet on the back of the keyboard so it can be flipped up to tilt the keyboard a bit. It's something that you might use if you like this added angle. I don't actually use the keyboard that way because it adds stress to my wrist, and the keyboard together with the palm rest work great for me. Overall, the K68 RGB is a really nice mechanical keyboard. It's super cool looking and the ability to practically have unlimited combinations of backlighting colors is something that I enjoy every time I look at my setup. The Cherry MX Red key switches are super responsive and 100% anti-ghosting and full key rollover Make sure that every one of my keystrokes is always registered correctly. I also love the fact that it's dust and spill resistant with an IP32 rating. And then the accessibility of the dedicated multimedia and volume controls is something that I appreciate much more than I thought I would. If you're a casual or competitive gamer, or even if you don't game, but you're just a super heavy computer user, I definitely recommend that you check out both the red LED and the RGB models of the Corsair K68. Now the K68 RGB sells for right under 120 bucks and the red LED version sells for under 90 bucks. I'll put links in the description to both models as well as the K95 and there are always specials and discounts and these links will always be updated with the lowest prices. I really hope this video gave you a good overview of the K68 RGB 
If it did, please let me know by giving it a like and then hit the subscribe and notification buttons. And you can always find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Tech Gear Talk. Good luck and see you soon.